Many people might have a chronic cough and not know the reason for it. We're going to talk about six different common causes of a chronic cough that will help you determine why you have a chronic cough. So determining the cause of a chronic cough is very important because a chronic cough is estimated to affect up to 18% of the adult population. What is a chronic cough? So we actually break down a cough by how long you've had it. So an acute cough is going to be a cough less than three weeks in duration. So this is going to be something that occurs with infectious causes, so colds, other illnesses. Another subset of cough is going to be what we call the subacute cough. This is going to occur for three to eight weeks. This is generally what we consider as post-infectious cough. If you have a cough for six weeks or so, we might think, oh, have you had an infection before? And if you say yes, then this is likely a post-infectious cough. Now, a chronic cough is going to be a cough that occurs greater than eight weeks. And this is going to have a lot of chronic medical conditions and other triggers that many are not aware of. We'll talk about those throughout this lesson. So by far the most common cause of a chronic cough that many people don't even think about is a post-nasal drip. So post-nasal drip is where mucus or fluids drip from the nasal cavity into the back of the throat. So if you look in this image here, here's a nasal cavity here, and there can be mucus and fluid that gets produced in the nasal cavity, and it can drip into the back of the throat, so it can drip into the pharynx, and that can irritate the back of the throat and make you feel like you need to cough. And if you look in this image here, here's the back of the throat. You can see that the back of the throat looks a bit bumpy. We call this cobblestoning. And this can occur when patients have postnasal drip. So this is something that can be checked if you can shine a light in the back of the throat, see if there's any of this cobblestoning pattern in the back of the throat that may indicate that you do suffer from postnasal drip. Now, if you do have postnasal drip and it's causing a cough, we call that upper airway cough syndrome. Now, postnasal drip, you might be wondering why you get it. It is associated with allergies and non-allergic rhinitis. So if you do get allergies, for instance, you get a lot of sneezing, a lot of mucus production, runny nose, that mucus can eventually run down the back of your throat and cause you to cough. Now, this can be important, especially at night when you lie down, you have all that mucus that kind of slowly drains into the back of your throat. So you might have a cough especially when you're lying down. And you can also get this from previous infections. So if you have had an infection and you're still getting mucus production in the nasal cavity, that mucus can end up dripping into the back of the throat, causing a cough as well. Another important cause of a chronic cough is gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD. So gastroesophageal reflux disease is a reflux of acidic gastric contents into the esophagus. So you can look in this image here. Normally when you eat, you have gastric acid in the stomach that helps digest the food. There is a, a sphincter at the bottom of the esophagus where the esophagus and the stomach meet. It's called the lower esophageal sphincter. It's supposed to be closed, but in the case of gastroesophageal reflux disease, there is inappropriate relaxation or opening of the lower esophageal sphincter, allowing for acidic gastric contents to reflux up into the esophagus. So that causes heartburn and other symptoms of GERD. But one important thing that this can cause, and many individuals might not even be aware that it can, is that the irritation of the esophagus can cause individuals to cough. So there can be a triggering of coughing from a gastroesophageal reflux disease. So if you have heartburn or if you have other GERD-related symptoms, things like belching, or like metallic taste in your mouth, any symptoms like that, especially the heartburn, and you have a cough, that could be the reason, a gastroesophageal reflux disease that's causing your cough. Another possible cause of a chronic cough is asthma. So asthma is a chronic inflammatory airway disease that occurs with intermittent coughing, dyspnea or shortness of breath, and wheezing. Now with asthma, coughing is going to be worse at night, but that can occur with other conditions, including that postnasal drip we talked about before. And also, I didn't mention it before, but gastroesophageal reflux disease, if you're lying down, this can also cause heartburn and also coughing as well. So a lot of times when lying down at night, you can get a worsening of the cough. So asthma could be the reason, but it could have been some of those other causes we just talked about. Asthma itself can be triggered by a variety of factors, including 
exercise. So exercise induced asthma can be something that can occur in some individuals or smoking or secondhand smoke, for instance. Another possible cause of your chronic cough is smoking. So if you do smoke yourself or if you vape or if you're exposed to secondhand smoke, this can cause a chronic cough. The reason is because chemicals in the smoke irritate the airways and also reduce ciliary clearance. So you have these little hair-like cilia that sweep up mucus from your airways. You end up swallowing it in the back of your throat. It goes into your esophagus and into your stomach. But if you are exposed to smoke, your airways can be irritated so there can be more mucus production. And also those little cilia that should be sweeping the mucus up your airways they're not working properly. So you end up having a slower movement of mucus and generally this causes irritation and a response to cough. So you end up kind of coughing up that mucus. And another possibility is that if you have smoked for a long period of time, you could have chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD. This is something that generally takes many years, but in some individuals they can be more susceptible to it. This is also itself another cause of a chronic cough. So chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is also another cause as well. Another possible cause of a chronic cough is ACE inhibitor use. So ACE inhibitors are going to be drugs with pril at the end of their name. So enalapril, lisinopril, perindopril, and ramipril. These are medications used to treat generally high blood pressure, but they can be used for heart health and also in the case of diabetic nephropathy, they can be used to help with proteinuria or proteins in the urine from diabetes. So ACE inhibitors can be very helpful for that. Now, the problem with ACE inhibitors is that they can cause a dry cough in up to 20% of users. So if you are taking ACE inhibitors and you've been taking them for months and you have had a chronic cough ever since you've started taking them, and that chronic cough is greater than eight weeks. Again, that's the definition of a chronic cough. Well, ACE inhibitors could be the cause of your chronic cough. Now, when you generally start taking these, it can cause this coughing to occur within one week of use. It generally won't go away on its own. So you would have to either stop medication or switch to another medication for the cough to resolve. So that's the way to deal with the cough from ACE inhibitor use. And then finally, another cause of a chronic cough is post-infectious cough. So you might be thinking, well, we talked about this at the beginning. This is supposed to be a subacute type of cough. Well, it generally is anywhere from three to eight weeks in duration, but in some cases it can go even longer. So it can go past eight weeks in some cases. So this would classify as a chronic cough. So why do we get a chronic cough after an infection? Well, post-infectious cough is due to residual inflammation within the airways. So there's still some residual inflammation or some swelling of the airways, and they can take weeks for that to improve. What you're going to note is that you end up getting mucus still being produced, even though you're generally feeling pretty good. The condition has been resolved, but you still are producing mucus and still having a cough, and you can sometimes cough up mucus, but it's going to be clear mucus. That's generally what's going to happen with a post-infectious cough, and it can occur after having had an upper and lower respiratory infection. So it could be an upper respiratory infection like a rhinovirus, so a common cold, where we mentioned this before, that could trigger a post-nasal drip causing the cough, so that could be one reason. Or in other cases like COVID and influenza, these can cause a lot of inflammation in the airways and then cause a long-term kind of residual inflammation that ends up leading to this post-infectious cough. So this is another important cause of chronic coughs. So this is something to think about as well. Please check out my other lessons on infectious diseases if you want more information on those topics. Please consider joining as a member for members only content. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon.